Hello guys, in this video we will be looking into 3ds Max's um, clone options and how you make a clone and the difference between each clone options. Um, to start with, we will go into our create tab and select from the geometry option, select a box. So you click, drag, stop clicking, choose your preferred height and click again. Alright, so to make a clone for the object is to simply right click and choose the clone option and for this one we will do copy and you can change the name here as well but for now I'll leave it to box 2. So nothing will happen, however the box has just generated in the same location as the original one. So if you click on the move tool and this gumball option will appear, you can simply just drag it to your preferred axis. We'll also add a text as well to, um, to show which um, it which clone we're working with and which type of clone we're working with. So if we go in the modifier and the parameters you can change. So we'll write original right we can change the size as well it is a bit big so I'll change it to 15. That's a good size and we'll drag it to our original box. A shortcut to um, clone as well is to press shift and drag to your preferred axis. So I'll choose Y and just drag it to my next object there. And this will give me a clone option. For the text, I'll keep it as copy and press OK. Once we've done that, I'll change the original to copy and then we'll do the process again with using our original geometry and right clicking to that and clone again. This time we will do instance, okay, and we'll move the geometry. Let's take the original text, shift, drag it to the next object, copy, OK, and then we'll change it to instance because this is our instance clone. And we've got one more, so right click on our original clone, and this time we will do reference. OK, drag it out and shift, drag it to our last one, let's copy, OK, and then we'll write this as our reference clone. Alright, so let's do some changes to our original and see what happens. So we'll click onto our original geometry, we'll go into our modifiers, list and let's do twist so as you can see the original is obviously um, twisting as we have chosen that object to twist however our instance and our reference are also twisting now instance is a exact copy of the original. So whatever happens to the original happens to the instance. Whereas the copy is independent to the original. So this will remain the same. If you want to ch add any changes to this, simply click on the object and then you can change the um, geometry using the modified list so let's try to tr um, what do we want to try we can try 
Let's try noise and see what that does. Mm, there's not much going on. So we can delete that so we can show a bit more effect to the geometry. We can try bend. We can bend it that way or that way. As you can see, it doesn't affect any other geometry as it is independent and it works as its own object. All right, um, instance will be exactly the same as the original. So it's an exact copy, all the ch ha changes happening to the instance have that uh, sorry to the original happens to the instance if we change anything for the instance for example let's try push it happens to the original as well as the reference since they're linked together in terms of reference it adapts anything that happens to the original or the instance however it can add its own modifying items um, that can happen only to its object as well so for example we can try bent you can see it's only happening to the reference clone the white line that you see here shows all the item all the modified items that have happened to the original and on the top is what has happened to the reference model afterwards you can click and drag and have this happening to the entire three um, original instance and reference clones and you can move a few around as well to change items here and there as well. So that's something you can play around with. And these are the some um, these are the three or four I should say um, clone options that you can do in 3DX Max and the difference of each um, clones from one and another. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.